everyone, welcome back to I the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Where we left off, we're playing as Ryuki, the Ryuki of five years ago, as he recounts to Mizuki the events that happened leading up to Date's disappearance. So he's investigating this mystery that has to do with the half body that appeared at the studio. And we're about to go question some of the people that were there when it happened. So let's get into it. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the video. All right. Ooh, where do we want to go first? Um, we'll just go in order. <laughs> well, kind of. We'll do Kumakura for last. Let's start with the Matsushita Diner. Let's go see Mizuki and maybe... Uta? We get a limo. Who dat? Ota. Who dat? Man, this sucks. Oh man, this song. I heard he talked my jaw off yesterday. That was with the local detective, right? I haven't heard anything yet. Big Sis, perhaps you should help them? Big Sis? Ah, that's just what I call Mizuki. Ah, and you're... My name is Kizuna. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Ryuki, right? You were on that quiz show last night. Ota! Kizzy, if you wanted to change the light bulbs or something, you can stack the cases there and stand on top of them. Kizzy? No, thank you. I have absolutely no desire to do so. She's like, nah. Stool. Window TV. Mr. Ryuki, there's a video of Tessa playing Mulku. Wanna watch? Maybe later. I wanna watch. See something you like, Ryuki? No. I'll sell you that poster for a thousand yen. No, thank you. <laughs> Ota. Uh, what are you doing? Haven't you heard? If you meow at a lucky cat statue, happiness will come your way. I see. Meow. Meow, Ryuki. Play along. A jellyfish! That's a stool. It's a stool. Table. Menu. Chef's choice salad. I guess it's up to luck. Disposable wow. chopsticks. It's stuffed so tight. Why did you say it like that? So, uh, I guess she's the Date of this game. Salt. Pepper. Spices and it says Ota's black sauce. Kitchen. Counter. Man, this is a really good song. Kids see. Hey, Mizuki. Isn't that your chair? Hey, Ota! Does this place have fire insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Swing door. Refrigerator. Phone. Photo. Family photo. We'll try not to think about Ota and his family too much or else we're gonna get sad. Or cushion. Uh, did we pretty much... Oh, wait. Fortune. Did we get pretty much everything? Oh, clock. Hands aren't moving. I don't like broken clocks. Calendar. A lot of dates on that calendar. Why not go on a date with me? No, thanks. Too thirsty. Omuraisu? 
Man, who is this? It's a customer, I guess? Excuse me. Maybe you shouldn't talk to that guy. He seems pretty drunk. He's drinking non-alcoholic beer. What do you want, jerk? I was not aware you could get drunk from non-alcoholic beverages. I don't think you can. Oh, are you? It's all right now, because I am here! How are you, young boy? <clears throat> Guess he's not doing too good. Ryuki, you need to stop that. Your name? Pardon me, but may I ask your name? There's no response. He seems to be depressed. Alrighty then. Let's talk to Ota. He's cooking food in the kitchen. Your name? Are you Mr. Ota Matsushita? Oh, you heard of me? Did you talk to Date or something? Yeah, something like that. He's linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. That's how I know his name and Ota age. Ota is 24. One year older than you, Ryuki. Ota is older than Ryuki? Yeah, that's why I'm being polite. I forgot how old Ota is, and even though he looks and acts and seems so young. Does anyone else work here? Nah. Ota handles the cooking, serving, and accounting all by himself. <laughs> that's right. Tama, are there any legal issues with this? Not at all. His mother, Mayumi Matsushita, holds the proper certification for food hygiene. Mr. Matsushita, can I ask where your mother is? Probably in the living room back there. I guess she's sitting at the Kotatsu watching TV or something. I was afraid, like, they were gonna say that she passed away or something. Matsushita Diner was closed for a long time. It recently reopened. Man, that books. was crazy! Still not used to this. Um, they get decent customer traffic and make a pretty good amount of money. Okay, what was crazy? I said it before, but I was watching that stream live. I heard Tessa and Mizuki were gonna be on that show, right? Then that body appeared out of nowhere. Half body. Man, I couldn't believe what I saw. Speaking of crazy, that ViewCube video. You saw it. No, not the whole thing. Too scary. I saw the one before, though. The one before? You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. Was there a video from the original game similar to that? Because I don't, can't quite remember. Ah, I know of that one as well. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? Bats 490? Yep. There was some kind of code hidden in it, too. According to the rumors, whoever deciphers it will learn the secret of the world. Secret of the world? Did a grade schooler come up with that or something? You're a grade schooler yourself, by the way. She cute. He's in a... she's... I like her hair and her little hoodie, hat thingy, whatever. About bats 490. The video starts with a bunch of bats flying around. Yes, that's where the bats part comes from. I don't know what the 490 means, though. Were you able to decode it? No way. I had no idea what it meant. Well, it's not like solving it would have been a big deal. I'll bet that secret of the world stuff is bogus anyway. Don't ruin the fantasy, Mizuki. I'm just telling it like it is. It's just an ARG. It's a game for kids. ARG means alternate reality game. The Game Master releases mysterious information to the public via the internet, leaflets, posters, stuff like that. Players decode the information to discover a location or objective that moves the game forward. Simply put, an ARG is a fusion of games and real life. Uh, the goal of an ARG varies. If someone beats it, they might get a prize. But most times, it's just a prank. Oftentimes, the main objective is simply to solve the mystery. Sometimes they're even used as a marketing tool. 
energy are progressed, progressed by an undefined number of players working together, mainly online. Oh my god, this is a long one. Due to this, it has high potential to spread fast. This, that makes it very helpful when marketing content. Okay. Do you have a girlfriend? Th that came out of nowhere. Of course I have one. Do you? You met her yesterday, right? Tessa. The girl named Iris Sagan. Were they officially dating by the end of the first game? Or is he just... delusional? Ota, do you want me to rip your tongue out? I think he's just delusional. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, as long as we're on the subject. Are you going out with anyone, Kizzy? Oh, me? Such relations with gentlemen are completely foreign to me. Are you into baby face guys that know how to cook? Ugh, no shame. Oh, my type is so stereotypical that I am embarrassed to admit it. Someone like Prince Charming. A prince? I yearn to be a princess. I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. Glass slipper? Ota? Who is that? Well, he's a customer. He comes by a lot. Um, well, in any case, I have a great affinity for shoes. My admiration of Princess Cinderella partially comes from that, I'm sure. Glass slippers. Isn't that so magical? She talks weird. How lovely it would be to dance in them. Wouldn't it be hard to dance in glass slippers? <laughs> That is true. She's so formal and, like, sophisticated. Weird. Let's see. Kizuna. Kizuna Chieda. Are you a student of Seki Bahai? I am indeed. How did you know? Your uniform? Don't tell me you're a uniform buffer, Yuki. I didn't take you for a pervert. Uh, what? <sighs> Kizzy is good friends with Iris and Mame, too. Oh, you don't know about Mame, do you? Mame? Amame Doi's her full name. Amame Doi. She attends Sekiba High like Kizzy and Iris. Iris and Mame belong to the same dance club as I. It was through them that I was introduced to Big Sis. You like dancing, huh? Yes, I most certainly do. So she calls me Mi Mizuki Big Sis even though she's older. Which I kind of guessed by how she looks, but yeah, she's a high schooler. However, I am not very good at it. That's not true. You've even won a dancing competition before. That was nothing more than a fluke. Iris is a far better dancer. Iris is pretty good at dancing. Why do you call Mizuki that? Hmm. This is a bit difficult to explain. I just sensed a certain elegance to Mizuki that was characteristic of an older sister. Elegance? I would describe Kizuna as maybe elegant, but definitely not M Mizuki it, as such. Is that a compliment? Tama, how old is Kizuna? 18, same as Iris. They're in their third year, so they're graduating soon. In other words, Mizuki is a whole six years younger than Kizuna. Hmm. About the incident last night. I was watching that quiz show live as well. Then, goodness, I couldn't believe it. That corpse suddenly appeared on the screen. I couldn't sleep last night from the shock of it all. I was worried about Big Sis and Iris as well. Yeah, you called me a bunch, I remember. You witnessed the corpse with your own eyes. Did you not? Are you certain you're... okay? I'm totally fine. Your mental fortitude is admirable. I've been through a lot is all. Yep. As we mentioned, she has... Mizuki. Um, I saw Mr. Date earlier. Huh. And? I mean, Mr. Date is like your foster father, so I thought I'd let you know just in case. Foster father? I'm the one taking care of him. I'm paying the rent and utility bills too. What? With what money? Oh, 
Oh, I know of Mr. Date as well. He is quite close with Iris, so I have the honor of being on friendly terms with him as well. Shouldn't you be in school? Today is February 11th, National Foundation Day. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, it is. So why are you here? Why else? To eat some of Ota's cooking. I brought my friend Kizzy with me. And I appreciate your business. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, at this restaurant? Eating? Why were you on the show last night? Iris had an offer to appear on the show. So she was asked to bring another talent from Lemnus Gate, but no one could make it, so I decided to go instead. As the president of Lemnus Gate, I couldn't just turn it down. Oh. Wait. She's the president of Lemnus Gate now. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I don't know if they talked about that previously, but yeah, she would have taken it over after her father, I guess. Forgot about that. President? Aren't you 12? <laughs> it's a long story. I ended up taking over the company after daddy. Any clues? Sorry, but I don't know anything. I just went on the show like Iris asked, and then a body showed up out of nowhere. I've heard about Jin Furue, but it's not like I knew him personally. Sorry, I can't really help. Hey, Kizzy, I want to see you dance. Where did this come from? I want to see too. Don't you want to see too, Ryuki? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I've got to see this. Then I'll play some music. Just a sec. Wait, um, I have not agreed to anything yet. Well, I don't think you have a choice in the matter. Here we go. I'm taking heat in the classroom. Oh well, I'll eat some donuts in the bathroom. Now I hear my friend got herself a boyfriend. They're going out for barbecue on the weekend. I see all of their smiles in their pics online. Wait, why is that making me cry? Oh my prince charming, where can I find you? How do I remind you of the dream we share? But dreams are just for dreamers. than Iris. <laughs> that was pretty good. Very impressive. Oh boy. I know your name. You're Kizuna, aren't you? I heard you introducing yourself earlier. Oh, he's in love. My name's Lian. Lian Twining. And I'm 22 years old. Lian Twining? My father's American and my mother's Japanese. So, Kizuna, I want you to marry me. Oh, why? Ota number two? <laughs> Ota, why are you so shocked? You're literally looking in a mirror. Huh? He looks completely out of it. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Oh. My heart feels like a jackhammer. Like it's gonna burst out of my chest any second. This guy is very dramatic. Why are you here? Actually, I got fired yesterday. I didn't feel like doing anything after I woke up this morning. I came here so I could drink my problems away. With non-alcoholic beer? But you were drinking non-alcoholic beer. I can still get drunk off of them, okay? What job did you get fired from? I was a bank 
clerk. What were you really? I don't like talking about it, but I was a janitor. I think that is a noble job. You're so right! <laughs> He's back! But unfortunately, my job was taken from me. And I have zero motivation to do anything now. Hard work just seems so pointless. I dislike people who don't work hard. All right. I'm hitting up the employment office tomorrow. <laughs> what? This guy has a rather one-track mind. He doesn't seem all that bad, though. You're joking about the marriage thing, right? Of course this isn't a joke. Kizuna's dance purified my heart. There was so much darkness building inside me. But she cleared it all away. It felt like I went straight to heaven. I've always wanted to be a pilot since I was little. It was my dream to fly through the sky. Kizuna made that dream come true for me. Seeing her dance, it was like my soul pierced the heavens and flew into the stars. Is this, uh, is this your Prince Charming, Kizuna? So, I've decided. I'm gonna marry her! It's not really something you can decide by yourself. Won't you marry me, Kizuna? No, thank you. This is very polite and matter-of-fact. <laughs> oh, <t> Wipe <laughs> that smug look off your face. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that either. No, thank you. <laughs> anyway, I won't give up. You'll come around eventually, Kizuna. My motto is, if at first you don't succeed, try and fail again! Uh, I think you mean try, try again. Now, we haven't obtained much useful information. There's no point in staying here for too long. Yeah, let's go somewhere else. Now hold on a second. Not done yet. Oh, I guess I am done. Shit. I wanted to see what she had to say about all this. All right, I guess we're done with that. Let's go to Sekiba High and go see Iris real quick. That hair. Iris, how are you feeling? Still upset about last night? I'm okay. I recover pretty quick from these things. See? I'm bouncing right back. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy bunny! I'm not gonna do that, guys. Don't even ask. Ryuki, would you mind hitting her with a German suplex? Later. By the way, you're... She's one of my best friends. Nice to meet you. My name is Amame Doi. I'm a third year at Sekiba High. And I'm in the same dance club as Iris. I'm a super hyper cutie miracle beauty. They're perfect for each other. Ryuki, I think we should leave. Uh, hold on. So you're the one I heard about. Mizuki and Kizuna told me about you earlier. Huh. You just pictured me in a leotard, didn't you? Uh, no. This isn't Date. Help! It's a pervert! Somebody call the police! I think Date is the one you're looking for. I am the police. Oh, come to think of it, you were on the quiz show last night, weren't you? Your name started with an R, I think. Yeah. Mr. Riro 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 Taro, was it? Riro 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 Taro? <laughs> it's Ryuki! I see. Mr. Ryuki Riro Taro. All right. And we got a new place to explore and look at. Let's see what we got. Locker. Window. Table. This theme sounds sort of like Lemniscate. This is an all-girls school. So obviously there are only female students. So it's not like I don't understand why you'd want to stroke that chair. But... I do not. Well, I think that um, if we put Tama and Date together, that that would be absolutely catastrophic. <laughs> that would be too much perviness in one body, and I don't think the world is ready for that. 
No, oh, Mr. Teacher, I'll do anything to get an A. First off, that's inappropriate. Second, it could be a female teacher. I don't think that's gonna stop her. I can get into that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mommy. Uh, why do we have an option to x-ray her? Whoa, a mommy turned into a skeleton. It's an x-ray. Anyway, the girl does have some nice femurs. Mmm, them femurs. I'd love to get inside those for a taste of the marrow. It's weird. What is wrong with you? Okay, um, what's your career path going to be after graduation? You could say I'm a part-timer. It's just me and my mom back home, so money's tight. I don't have time to go to college or a specialty school. But mommy is so smart! She always has the best grades, even though she doesn't go to class much. I've been busy with my part-time job and dance practice. Where do you work? I work as a mermaid at a gaudy maid cafe called Sunfish Pocket. Did we meet her before? Because she seemed familiar, but I wasn't sure if it was the same girl that we x-rayed. Is she this? She's the same one? Oh, wow. Did we learn her name? Yeah, okay. I thought she seemed familiar. And then I noticed the little pin that she has on her lapel. Mermaids are what they call the maids that work there. They wear these cute mermaid outfits as they serve the customers? Yeah. There we go. Okay, she looks a little bit different in this out like outside of her work uniform. <laughs> I know because I used to work at Sunfish Pocket a long time ago. Mommy works there at night after dance practice. How late do you work? I don't tell anyone, but Till about 11. <gasps> that's not a that's against the law. Even when you were 17. Yes, ever since I was 16. That's a violation of Article 61 of the Labor Standards Act. Mm hmm. Though it would be the employer who would be penalized. Mm hmm. I lied to the manager about my age. Oh. So, according to my profile, I'm 20 years old right now. That's a bit. Sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't arrest me. Yeah, why are we saying this to a cop? Oh, we have... Labor Standards Law Article 61 declares that you cannot employ anyone younger than 18 from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. I think this sounds pretty in line with what it is here in the States. I used to do scheduling uh, when I worked at McDonald's and there were limitations. My family's poor, so I need to keep working. About Jin Furue. I don't think there's anyone from our generation that doesn't know who he is. He's famous for having a sharp tongue. He used to write a bunch of completely lame articles and critiques online. He used to start up stupid internet drama crap on Twitter, too. My mommy has a pretty sharp tongue herself. His main job was being the CEO of Music Food. I guess that's like the president of the company? What is Music Food? I guess they do food? But why music? I think I read an article online that said he started the business when he was 22. But his history before then is shrouded in mystery. And no one knows anything about his childhood, right? Yeah. He was a pretty mysterious figure. About the incident last... oh wait. Music Food is a subscription music service. Oh, it's music. It mainly focuses on Japanese music, so it's not a widely known service worldwide. But they do have 10 million subscribers, so I'm sure they make a good profit. I know about the incident. I was watching the live stream of that quiz show. Hey, Iris. Iris is sitting on a chair. Leering at an 18 year old. That's a bit creepy, don't you think? I was not leering. He probably was. Well, Iris is just sitting on a chair. I have no further commentary. Now you're trying too hard. Well, what do you want me to say? 
without a hint of lecherous intent, I am looking at Iris, sh Iris sitting on a chair. Is class over? Don't you know today is February 11th? National Foundation Day. Oh, right. Then why are you at school? Well, how do I put this? I just felt compelled. I can only wear this uniform and attend this school for about another month or so. So I invited Mommy, and we just kind of ended up here. So in anime and in this game, I've noticed that students go like on campus of their high school in Japan after hours or like on days that school isn't even open. Is that actually a thing that happens? I mean, I guess it is. They, they're really into like their clubs and stuff. I just, I, I could never see myself wanting to go to school on at any time that I didn't have to be there. But I don't know. That's just me. Iris and Amame are third years. They'll be graduating soon. Um, German suplex. Clickety clack, clickety clack. I boiled the potato and my socks in a sack. Mr. Ryuki, are you okay? New folk anthem? The song Ryuki was just singing was German soup socks, I think. What? What? I don't know how I feel about Ryuki's little random outbursts. It's just kind of weird. Why were you on the show last night? Hmm? Mizuki didn't tell you? She did, but I want to double check, just in case. The agency I belong to, Lemniscate, received a request for me to appear. They wanted me and one more person to participate as a pair, but we couldn't find anyone with an opening in their schedule. And that's why Mizuki ended up going instead about the incident last night. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it. It did feel like some sort of paranormal phenomenon, though. Paranormal? Like I mentioned last night, maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's with the body in two. That's my theory. That's my current theory, too. Speaking of which, there are rumors that people who watched that video and disappeared could have also been swallowed into another dimension. What's this about being swallowed into another dimension? That QR code video. A similar video went viral about half a year ago. Right. But that's 490 video. Supposedly people who saw it suddenly vanished. That's 490. Kizuno mentioned the same thing. People vanished? So, they say those who went missing were taken into another dimension. That's creepy. Did you also see it? Yes. So did I. But you two haven't disappeared. That's because we haven't decoded it. There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. You have to go there to get taken into another dimension. People who decrypted the code all said the same thing before vanishing. I've learned the secret of the world. But no one knows what that secret is. Oh gosh, it's this guy. Genny, I told you to wait for me at the gate, didn't I? Yeah, but I got here a bit early. His name is Gen Ishiagane. He's the owner of the fusion restaurant Brahman in Golden Yokocho. Though, I'm sure you already know that. Yeah, I've been there many times. But why is Gen here? Ah, if it isn't Mr. Ryuki. It's creepy! I don't know if I like it. Are you here to investigate that case by any chance? Yes, I was talking to Iris about it. I also watched the quiz show last night. Several people I know were on it. It's Gen Ishiyagane, the owner of the fusion restaurant Brahmin. Why are you here? I drove here to pick up Amame and Iris. I need them to help out at work tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, Genny. Oh, they... Oh, she works at two part-time jobs? Damn. Something came up. Uh, oh, I see. I'm 
free, though. I can still help. That'd be great. You two are close with Gen, huh? Yeah. We're just a big ol' happy threesome. Don't say it like that. That was a weird way to phrase it. Amame visited Brahmin a lot, even back when it was in Yotsuya. Once it moved to Golden Yokocho, I took Iris there. You've been to Brahmin too, Mr. Ryuki? Of course. I've been there several times. Mr. Date took me there. Mr. Date? So you must know Mr. Date too, Kenny. I've known him for a long time. We're so close, we've seen each other's buttholes. What? Wow, what a small world. Is she really going to ignore the butt part? <laughs> She's probably just like, yeah, this sounds like Date. Were you able to get in easily? Oh, are you asking because I'm wearing this mask? It was fine. The security for this school is practically non-existent. Oh, great. There are tons of places on the grounds without any fences or security cameras. So you didn't walk in through the front gate? I couldn't have dressed like this. A guard would have stopped me. There's a reason he always wears the mask. He would scare people if he took it off? Are you saying what's under the mask is more horrifying than this scary-ass looking mask itself? I haven't seen him without his mask myself, but that's what he said. Supposedly it's something he was born with. He got called a monster when he was a kid. Oh no. Well, that's sad. I'd like to try Mr. Gen's cooking. You're more than welcome to visit anytime. Genny's cooking is amazing. Everything he makes is so good. My tongue could fall right off. Ugh. Personally, I think his place and Matsushita Diner are competing for the number one spot. Come on now, don't compare my restaurant with a place like that. The cooking there was superb when Takiro was still the man behind the chef's knife, but now it's his son Ota running things. He doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Ouch. His dishes are missing the most important condiment. Will they have black sauce or whatever? Mystery sauce? What is well, it missing? I think we got enough info here for now. Ryuki, wanna get going? Sounds good. Jesus fucking Christ. We're gonna go to Miseton Department Store. We're gonna question the game show host. So that's what we're doing. Let's do it. Apparently there's some kind of amusement park or something at the, on the roof of this department store? Or maybe I understand understood it completely wrong? But we'll see. Oh, yep, it totally is. How fun. Shoma, my little boy, he's in elementary school. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. It's still unclear whether his head is actually shaped like a cube or if he's wearing something. I mean, he's gotta be wearing something, right? Lots of people with masks on in this game, if that's the case, like the, uh, the guy that we just saw who has, like, a... that weird mask on his head. This is a stand-up comedy routine. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes, DEATH TUB! But... head. <laughs> and I'm thinking... Death tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Then Shoma saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, what's so funny? That's when I realized when you see Death Tub in the mirror. God of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Wait. <laughs> How is that the punchline? Isn't the punchline butthead? <laughs> Another story about Shoma. One day I got a call from school and a rather heavy set vice principal told me. Your Shoma called me a pig of all things. 
I apologize, then gave Shoma a talking to. Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, Okay, I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore, but it's okay if I call a pig vice principal, right? I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry, can I go play with my friends now, vice principal? Wow. Out of energy, inti, inti, Pachaka Max! That's fucked up. I kind of like this kid. Whoosh. Wow. I'm the only person in the audience. And Tama. And she's the only one laughing, but he can't hear her. That's just sad. Poor guy. He doesn't even know his joke is landing for some little eyeball AI. Um, are you finished? Well, you're the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what happened? Yes. Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You'd prefer someplace quieter, right? That might be a good idea. I'm sure that music would get on my nerves after a while. Oh, this is nice. Wait, the Ferris wheel? Music is still going, though. Well, why not? Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? Don't get too excited now, Tama. This is not what I had in mind. Well, what's wrong with middle-aged men? Window. <laughs> Look, the ants are like people. It's the other way around. Wait, the other way around doesn't sound right either. Why not? Anything else we can look at? No, I guess not. Wait. Wait. No. Oh my gosh, this is horrifying. I don't know if I'd want to be on a Ferris wheel on top of a huge, like, building. Yeah, tall ass building. Yono Haru. Yone Haru Enda, aka Ante. Andes. Andy's Komeji is sitting in front of me. Why a Ferris wheel? I love Ferris wheels. I mean, that's reason enough, right? I like anything that continuously spins around, actually. Okay. Flame propellers, washing machines, the beds at love hotels. What would you know about love hotels? There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. How do you know that? Just like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. We rotate around the same places over and over. Look, that's really great, super deep and all, but I'm just here to ask you about this murder. Well, the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. Tama! Inappropriate! A boy is just like me, you know? Shoma? You mentioned him on stage earlier. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel, too. He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but... With your love of Ferris it's... wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside, too. Sorry. <laughs> you got a point there. You're probably right. About Shoma. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. His mother hasn't been around... For about three years now. Hmm. Was it a divorce? Yeah. She got sick of me and left the house. Probably sick of your horrible jokes. Your clothes. Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh, uh, I wasn't. Oh. I guess he wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. Do you come to the stage a lot? 
Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. Okay, so maybe some significance about the fact that he wasn't wearing his bow tie? I don't know. Keep it in mind, I guess. Um, why did you host the quiz show? You know I'm a comedian now, but when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and ended up winning first place many times. Komeiji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. Being the quiz god? Adored wherever I went, everyone buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. And after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. Ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. It was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. What does that mean? Team Popo. Oh, I think Tom is gonna... Maybe answer that? By the way, Iris and Mizuki were called Team Lemniscate. Moma and Chimpei were called Team Yakuza. Oh, so what does Team Popo mean? Police? Oh. Oh! Wow. Okay. I mean, I I know that we we sit like that's a slang term kind of here over here, but I didn't think that it was also in Japan. They would say popo. Hmm. I'm sorry. I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then that body suddenly appeared. Did you know Jin, the victim? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. If I had to guess, the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him and did that. Hey, smells like alcohol. Ah, does it? A little. A lot is more like it. Komeiji's blood alcohol level is 0.12%, the early stages of inebriation. I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. Now, don't get any ideas, young Ryuki. Five years ago, Ryuki. About using alcohol to try to forget. Sorry I couldn't help, Mr. Ryuki. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, okay then. All right, is it time to go to Kumakura office and listen to my favorite swagalicious song ever? I think it is. It better not have changed the song. Wait, you're the director of yeah. that question, Yeah. Oh man, I miss this place. I miss this place so much. Hi Zanzibar, hey Apoc. Good to see you here. So groovy. You got a problem with that? So Chimpei is the director of the quiz show, huh? No, but... I told you, he got out. He's making an honest living as a civilian these days. Ain't that right? That's right, boss. Good for you, Chimpei. Stop calling me that. You're not a member of the gang anymore. 
All right. Statement. There's a piece of paper with some general principles written on it. It reads, no dating apps allowed. Whiteboard. This month's plans are laid out on a whiteboard. 24th, how to go viral on KickTop workshop. TikTok? Tiger rug. Did you just hear something? No, nothing. Oh, just so you know, that thing's fake. It's not a real tiger. It's a real something. It's a real something. An ashtray at this day and age? How anachronistic is this place? Are ashtrays old school? It's like a Yakuza done in here. But that's exactly what this place is. That's exactly what it is. I mean... Is there some kind of new way to dispose of cigarette ashes that I am unaware of? Are ashtrays just a thing of the past? I'm confused. Do re me. Fa uh, so le tido. So fa. So fa. <laughs> Smoking indoors is a thing of the past. As it should be. Very good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Dragon. A dragon with a gold ball. Kind of like us, Ryuki. What? Hmm. You're not made of gold, though. Lanterns. Well, there are a lot of lanterns lined up here. Maybe Moma hung them up. Wait, who's hung? Who? Huh? Moma? Moma's hung, huh? Uh, That's not what I said. My goodness. No more Date, but the spirit of Date still lives on. Hama is ball in Japanese, but also slang for testicles. Ah, I didn't know that. Hey, Kilimaro. I hacked into it. There are a ton of videos of salmon laying eggs in there. I don't think that's a problem. We all have our own interests. Salmon laying eggs? Shouldn't it be like Iris videos? Family altar. Crest. Makura crest. Makura crest is on display. Shelves. Yes, yes, yes. Keyboard. And desk. Mouse. Squeak, squeak. That's what I was wanting to hear. Alright, Chimpei, what's up? It's Chimpei Wagai, former member of the Kumakuras. I wonder where that other guy is. Why did you become the director for the show? I actually used to attend a vocational school to learn about film. I wanted to be a porn director. Okay. I used the connections I got there to reach out to a production company for online shows. And I was promoted to director right away. Supposedly, the last director ran away, so they really needed me to take his place. The last director ran away. Why was the director one of the contestants? Oh yeah, why was he one of the contestants? We didn't have enough people. The quiz show needed three teams of two to answer questions. We tried hard, but couldn't get together that last team. I had no choice but to participate myself, so I invited the boss to go with me. Huh. <laughs> and MoMA agreed to participate? Well, you know. Well, I mean, if, if Tessa was going to be there. It was a request from one of my precious underlings, after all. I convinced him by saying Tessa would be there, too. There it is. Then he agreed right away. Mm-hmm. Why did you come back after leaving the group? I came to say thanks to the boss for yesterday. I was thinking of going to Akiba, and this place is on the way. Why Akiba? Well, um, I need to stop by a maid cafe. Maid cafe? Seems legit. Yeah, it's called Sunfish Pocket. My girlfriend works there. His girlfriend works at Sunfish Pocket? Is 
it a mommy? <laughs> Probably not. Is it? <laughs> Could be. About why you left the group. My girl is a baby on the way right now. Okay, I really hope it's not a mommy. <laughs> she's, she's what, 18? Still in high school? So we decided to get married, but her parents wouldn't approve of it. Said they wouldn't let me have their daughter unless I got out of the business. I agonized over the decision, so much that I could only eat two slices of pizza instead of the usual three. Wow. Wow, only two slices of pizza instead of three. This guy was really struggling with that one. But a man has to do what a man has to do, right? So I made up my mind to talk to the boss about it. But before I could... Oh, I get it. Then I'll try asking him for you. And Moma listened to Iris. Wh what? I didn't have any ulterior motives, so don't get it twisted. Sure. About the case. Sorry, but I haven't found anything that might be a lead. <laughs> what about the rest of the staff? They'll probably tell you the same thing. The detectives from HQ have already questioned the rest of the staff. Your report is uploaded on the database. Zero clues. There isn't any information that could help us at all. What about the other contestants? That show was supposed to run for six hours straight, from six to midnight. But it wasn't the same contestants the whole time. They were supposed to swap out every hour. Oh, well that makes kind of more sense, but still not really. Our appearance was slated for 9 p.m. Wouldn't know anything about the others. You're the director! I already turned in the list of contestants to the cops. Why don't you try hitting them up one by one? The other detectives already took care of that a while back. No clues there either. There haven't been any reports of suspicious individuals. I'm in my happy place right now. In the Kumakura office. Okay, why were you on the show last night? Even though we kind of already heard that answer? Didn't he just say so earlier? I I have to ask, it's my job. It is what it is. Did Chimpei's resignation go smoothly? Yeah, I didn't take his finger or anything. Well, that's good. We're not doing any of that outdated cutting off your finger deal. After all, the Kumakuras are a gang with morals. That's right. Sounds like an oxymoron. Like a vegan zombie. Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, da -da. okay, about the case. I'm pissed about the case, too. That co appearance was like a dream come true, and the whole show was ruined. I'd love to get my hands on the bastard responsible. A dream come true? The boss and Tessa got to shut it. Anyway, I'd love to help you with your investigation and all. But unfortunately, I don't have any info that might be useful to you. But, don't worry, if MoMA can help in any way in the future, he will. Especially if Tessa's involved. Do you have any leads at all? I don't know what to tell you. Did you see any suspicious people hanging around the studio, for example? Suspicious people? Hmm. I guess the only one who comes to mind is Kameji. He is pretty suspicious looking, isn't he? Kameji? You mean... He has a cube head. Yeah, and he's Kameji, the host. Supposedly, he has connection to the Yakuza. I'm not talking about our group, of course. It's just something I heard at a meeting with the street bosses. Word is, he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Though, that might not have anything to do with last night. Meiji has connections with the Yakuza? Could it be true? Let's figure that out later. You need to gather intel for now. Got it. Then let's go somewhere else. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. I guess back to Abyss HQ we go! You're going back to Abyss. Woo! Look at this fancy place! How come Dante never had this? What the fuck? He had to drive his own damn self! <laughs> that beat up little car. <laughs> damn. I guess they got a lot of funding after we solved the Cyclops killer case. Yeah. 
I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Then why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. Oh, shit. Hi, lady. Hi there, girl. There's a woman sitting on the seat. Oh, woman? Oh, here we go. Scream like a girl. Roar like a vicious beast. Recite the sutras. Let's roar. Shut up! Stop shouting! Oh my lord. But you surprised me. I thought that the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. <laughs> the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth. Wow. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi-transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. <laughs> wow. Amazing description. Hey, Frank, what's up? I'm having a great time. I love these games. Tama is sitting in the seat, or so it seems. What do you think of this car? Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Trivia time. Right now, I'm using the car camera to steer the car remotely. I, of course, control the gas and the brakes. I send signals electronically. It's technically a self-driving car. Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Oh, so this isn't from Abyss. This is his car. They don't even give their special agents cars at all? Or maybe they gave Date like some beat up thing and then Ryuki was like, uh, I have my own car and it's better. It's a limo and it's self-driving. So his parents were rich and they're also in the past tense. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. Ugh, airplane crash, that's pretty uncommon. From then on, I was living with my younger brother, but six years ago, he also. Oh. Six years ago. Hmm. About the reason Jin's right half suddenly disappeared. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but remember what Mr. Date and Iris said? For some reason, just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that split the body in two. Don't tell me you believe that. You have any better ideas? No, just for some reason it's stuck in my head. Organize information. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. If I had to say one thing, it would be the ViewCube video in that QR code link. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. Okay. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. Hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the internet? I looked it up. Here it is. No, I don't think we should mess with that.
Rip me, burn me. I like the music though. Okay, well I'm gonna have nightmares now. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. Where did Bats 490 come from? Same as the QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewQ, then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. I don't wanna... Ryuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in Bats 490. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. Shoma? He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya! Shoma? Isn't that... Andy's Komeji's... Mm-hmm. His son! Shoma Balls! 